Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this is your spirit message for mid-March. I do want to start out by clearing something up um, for you all. I just, I have a group on Facebook and I just had a new member because I asked three questions and the questions have to be answered to get in. And I ask every member what their sign is and somebody wrote Aquarius, a water sign. And I know most of you, the majority of you know that, that you are not a water sign. But there's a lot of newcomers. Many people are waking up at this time, okay? So they're just diving in. They're at the beginning of their journey. Aquarius is an air sign, okay? Along with Libra and Gemini. So if you guys already knew that, I apologize. But the newcomers need to know this. It's a misconception, all right? Um, so we're going to move on to your spirit reading. Ooh. Four of Wands, Foundation and Achievements, Transformation. Wow, I'm getting the chills. Many of you have a choice to make, okay? You have a choice to make regarding your foundation, okay? Do you want something new? This is the death card. Are you ready to let something go? Something needs to be let go so that you can start anew. So it appears to me that many of you are... You could be faced with a decision where you have to consider the consequences of the decision okay but I think you're being called to go down a new road I mean because that's the death card something needs to end and you need to have faith this is the Hierophant and the Empress and the Magician look at this is divinely guided okay you guys are being divinely guided to do something, okay, that brings growth. I mean, look at this. And then threes are your prayers have been answered, okay? So and threes are also about growth. There's a lot of growth here. You guys are going through some sort of period of growth that is asking you to move forward And release the past. You have to be willing to release the past. You have to take action. You have to take action unless you want to stay stuck. Because this is, this is you have to choose. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? And by what I see, you're being called to move forward. You're being called to take action. To use the resources within you and to have faith. Because this is faith. To use your, to follow your own path, to believe in yourself, to build your foundation. You have the ability, ability to achieve uh, a lot of growth and a lot of abundance. And, you know, it feels as though you may, you may be feeling like you're at a dead end and you can't move forward. And that you're just, there's a lot of depression here. There's a lot of depression over this decision, this choice that you need to make. I think you're aware that you need to make this choice. You know that you need to get going. You know that you're ready for a change, that you need to let something end. But there's this fear, you know, you're, you're, you're letting fear drive instead of faith. Because faith is needed. You need to believe in yourself. You need to be able to follow your own path. You know, to bring contentment to your life, you need to be able to follow your own path with ease. And in order to follow your own path with ease, you have to have faith because that is what the Hierophant card is. Okay, it feels to me like you guys have been seeking guidance and you've been receiving guidance, but you're not listening. Are you really listening to your inner guide? Are you? Because that's what the Hierophant asks. Are you listening to your inner guide? There's some sort of rebirth, seriously. There's some sort of rebirth on the horizon, a renewal where you guys are being asked to release the past, but you have to be willing. Be willing to release the past. Be willing to release these anxieties. Be willing to release the dead wood, okay? So that you can move forward, okay? This involves self-love. You have to love yourself first before everything else falls into place. But we're going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly before we go any further. It, this is I love, but this is self-love, okay? This is the heart chakra, and it is self-love. I love myself enough to shed what no longer serves me, to take action and make the right choice 
for me. It's time for a transformation. This is the death card. It is time for me to release. That's what death is. With endings brings new life. So I see that there is a renewal, a rebirth on your horizon if you can get past this anguish, this fear that is holding you back. It feels like you've really been seeking the guidance and you're really hoping for the answer. And I think you're getting the answers, but you're denying them. You're not listening because this tells me that when the Hierophant card comes out, it says, do you hear me? Are you listening? Because in other decks, he has his hand up. Are you really listening to your inner guide? It appears to me that you guys are, you may be considering leaving something behind, an old foundation that is no longer on your journey, okay? And I think that you are being called to believe in yourself at this time and to follow your path, which you've grown, right? You've evolved. This is growth. You've grown. And now it's time to let yourself evolve into your oneness, okay? It's, there's a period, this, this is a time of self-love. Love yourself to the extent that you allow growth and transformation to happen. Choose wisely. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward with growth? Okay, and that's what this is. Are you aware that you have to make a difficult choice? Are you aware that it's time to end something? Are you aware that there is a renewal right in front of you? Are you aware that you love yourself? Are you? Unconditional love for yourself. It's time to let something end so that, you get that, so that you can transform into the person you are meant to be at this time. No more. It's time to close that door. Nines are closure. It's time to close that door and step into your new life. Close the door. Step into your new life. Do you love yourself? Are you willing to shed the past? To use all the resources within you to go through your transformation? Are you willing? Or would you rather be here? It's up to you. It's up to you. It's your choice. Be prepared to live with your consequences. Talk to you later.